Special effects have greatly improved within recent years, and so the need for more complex character effects that are realistic but still retain a fantasy element are required. I have set out to create a variation of a dynamic character effect that not only provides a transition of character change, but is also implementable onto any mesh or object. Such effects have already been created in works like Major Lazer's music video Light It Up and Fantastic Beasts, with even the real world providing some visual idea of how this can be achieved in the camouflage reflex of chameleons. However, my main inspiration is the character Mystique from the X-Men film series, who is able to transform her blue, scale-like body into any person. This effect has been shown numerous times with long shot lengths and variations of the effect, depending on the situation required, which provides a good point of reference. After studying movie references of her effect, I created a simple model of two feathers in Maya, with basic animation and growth. The model is then stored as an Olympic file in order to save memory and allows easy access across platforms if required. After unsuccessfully creating Python codes that read faces of an object and duplicates my feather onto it accordingly, I came upon XGen, a plugin within Maya that is mainly used for grooming hairs and generating large instances of objects, either randomly or in uniform positions. The best example for this is being forests. In order to use XGen, my feather had to be archived as a .xarc file, so it was possible to use as a set within the plugin. From there, I researched into XGen controls and ways to create my effect. This tool became essential to my work because it allowed me to randomly displace my feather across any mesh, as well as being able to control attributes such as length, density, and even the animation itself. Further tests into XGen were done on both basic and complex geometry and showed unusual results with obscure angles and the feathers not following a uniform path. I needed a way for XGen to properly transform and organise my feathers so that they followed the same orientation and direction. One way that helped was using PTEX maps within a density attribute, where I was able to generate the feather along a ramp per frame using a black and white image, similar to noise distribution in a simple material. The PTEX maps were then baked into the mesh in order to XGen to read them properly. For the time being, I worked on a simple plane to avoid the problem, and tried to find a way to overcome my main problem, procedurally oscillating or giving a wave-like effect to the feathers. For while the animation worked, it was not my desired effect. Instead, it applied the frame attribute to all the instance objects, instead of the amount created at that specific frame from the PTEX maps. And sadly, there is no way to access a single object due to the fact that XGen is an instance geometry generator. I initially tried combining Python with XGen's expression editor, which turned out to be impossible due to the different code syntaxes. However, I found that it could all be done within the expression editor itself. By creating an expression within the frame attribute that evaluates every face of the mesh XGen has instance onto, it could then initiate the built-in animation that gave the oscillation or wave effect within any frame range that I required. Tests were then done with changing elements within the expression, allowing greater control and timing of the effect. Tests were also done in the density attribute to see how well the software coped with such a high object count. As it turns out, different density values altered the effect slightly, so more tests were done on simple geometry to see what would happen. Some of the results, particularly with the torus, were unexpected, but encouraged me to believe that this could be used as a tool for multiple effects in the future. While I still had the same problem as before with the animation paths, the PTEX ramps helped control them slightly, but more research was needed in order to properly understand them and control the de orientation and direction. This is best shown when a human model provided by Truong CG Artist is used, for it follows a path I created, but because I do not know how it was made, it is difficult to determine the topology of faces within the mesh. When it came to texturing the feather, one side was applied with a basic colour, and the other side a contrasting colour, both made with standard V-Ray materials in this example. These materials can be any texture within Maya, so long as it is resaved as an archive file onto the feathers themselves. From there, a simple ramp was applied to my test shape and keyframed the beginning and end to show a transition. While it is very simple, this is just the principle of how the effect works, with the idea that any texture or material from any renderer can be used, with the same results. I feel that this project has the potential to go further and be applied with a wider range of effects and textures, 
as well as the possibility of making either a preset a next-gen for others to use, or a tool similar to one Digital Domain created when working on the Mystique effects in the films. However, due to the length of the project, I was unable to explore these further. Despite that, I am pleased with my effect, and the project has given me a greater understanding of X-Gen, instancing geometry, and creating a dynamic character effect.